Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine. Today I have a project to share with you. We are going to be working on the life cycle of a bee. We're using this book called Explore Honey Bees by Cindy Blobaum. It comes with activities and information on bees and today we're gonna work on the life cycle of a bee. Now this one's gonna be pretty easy for most of it and I'm gonna show you an alternative for the very end of this project. We're going to use a grain of rice for the egg. We're going to use some wax for the larva. This is Stockmar beeswax, which is kind of appropriate for this project. And we're going to use some wool to make the cocoon. So I've got my foam mat here, and you could also use a cotton ball for this actually, which would be far easier, but we happen to have wool. And so we're going to just uh, felt a little cocoon here, super easy, super fast. Then we're going to take the beeswax and mold a little larva for the second part of the stage of a life cycle of a bee. And we're gonna use hot glue to adhere everything onto some watercolor paper. We want the paper to be pretty durable because we're going to be gluing on it and drawing on it and we don't want things to fall off. Now that we've glued the egg and the larva in place, it's time to move on to the cocoon. Now what I didn't show you so far is how to make the final stage of the life cycle of a bee, and that is the adult honeybee. Now we made this in a previous project, and I'm gonna link the tutorial here as well, but you could just draw a honeybee in the adult phase rather than felt one, because that ended up being a little bit more complicated than we had intended, but it did allow us to do this project, which came about after we felted that little honeybee. We didn't want to adhere him to the paper so I just hot glued a little bit of elastic and then made kind of like a pocket for the honeybee to be in so that he can still be removed and played with. The next thing we want to do is label everything. I started with the egg and did a little curvy arrow to the larva and then on to the pupa and finally the adult honeybee. The last thing we're going to do is title the whole page with life cycle of a honeybee and optionally you can add information about each of those stages. We got a lot of the information out of the book. The last thing we're going to do is decorative and we're just going to add a little bit of pastel around the edges in yellow and a little bit of gold golden orange and I'm going to start by drawing all around the edges and then using my finger to smear it and blend all the colors together. really like the way this project turned out and in a minute I'm going to show you my son's project. His turned out lovely and he really likes it and that's one of the biggest perks of doing a project like this is just seeing the joy on your child's face when they complete a project that they're really proud of. So if you want to see some of the other projects that we're doing for this Honey and Bee Nature Unit, you can click on the screen right now. And if you want to catch up on some of our other projects that we did for our previous Nature Unit, you can see that as well. And if you want to see what we're doing on a daily basis, you can check me out on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.